So guys, serious fear hit us rock as some Nigerian judges finally gang up to free Mazen Namdekano. President Bola Mektinubu is not pleased with this. President Bola Mektinubu is not happy that some judges are saying, you know, they are being humiliated publicly, you know, in Nigeria, even outside Nigeria, calling them names corruptions they are all corrupt the judiciary nigerian judiciary is full of corrupt practices and all that so this time around they are now ready to use mazen namdekanu's case to show example that it's not all nigerian judges are corrupt so these high court judges uh, have gang up against president bola mechinubo you know they will not do this you understand going by the way Nigerian government is treating this matter, they won't do this. But maybe they just want to prove that it's not everybody, you know, are corrupt. Just like what the new CJN said a uh, few days ago, that those people who are denting the image of judiciary, they, those judges, there are just few of them. It's not all of them, you know, are bad. Now, forward to this, talking about Mazen Namdekanu's case, I believe some of us who have been following this case understand the way the whole thing is going. The case is really, really, really a very funny one. You understand? Even when you look at it carefully, you understand that Nigerian government do not have any proof against him. Even if they have something against him, but they cannot prove that this is really what you have done. Uh -huh. Based on, based on uh, the apical judgments, Nigeria appeal court judgment. We are talking about a competent court of jurisdiction. So all these ones don't implicate Pre uh, President Bola Metinobo, uh, led uh, Nigerian government. You understand? Because appeal court has already, you know, give judgment in the favor of Mazenam de Kano, even to the extent that asking Nigerian government to compensate him for going against his human rights, you know, and all that. They even said there is no court in Nigeria have the right, you know, to try him. But now the question is, what is happening right now? Everything they said, Nigerian government trash it in the bin, in the dustbin, you know, and doing what they are doing. And as you can see, they are stuck. Even the judge presiding the case, she is tired. They say, you will continue to do this matter. I say, I'm not going to do it again. Even to the extent that, there is a kind of face-off with the, the justice presiding Mazenam the Kanu case, Justice Binta Inyako, and the, the chief judge, uh, Tosu, who have reassigned Mazenam the Kanu's case back to her after she formally withdrawn from the case. And that was when Mazenam the Kanu asked her to do that. It can't be like God favor her by using Mazenam the Kanu, and this is what she has been you know, wanting to do. Uh, she understands the case. And uh, according to some reports that even family members have said she will not be the one the Nigerian government will use to make any pronouncements against Mazenam Dikano. And this is what she is guiding against. Now, uh, Nigerian judges have refused to handle this case. And that is the reason why the, 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 the chief judge now have to reassign the case back to him, back to her I meant to say. You see, Nigerian government is just running around the circle. I always ask this question, if you know what you are doing, why this epilepsy trial? Why? If you won't give a punishment, give them, what is the meaning of this epilepsy trial today again? Omoye Lushua reports to Bubble saying that there is a memo, secret memo against the Igbos. You understand? And uh, releasing Mazenam the Kano will be a very big problem to them. So that is the reason why they are keeping Nam the Kano. He also says something that let Nigerian break so that in the Igbo we have their freedom. They go feed it to waiting they want to. That one now, they one side, they shape for one side. Now, this, these judges' reactions are coming after Emir Sanusi and uh, one professor, Ajayi, they cry decline of Nigeria's judiciary. They call it second world source of corruption. So these people, they want to prove 
that they are not corrupt. You understand? They want to prove that they can do the needful. That's not everybody are corrupt. Like, as I said, this is a very big threat to President Bola Tinubu, led Nigerian government, because they know, they know the truth. And if these people stand for the truth, you know what it is. You understand? So, guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.